Are you ready to be shot? Before you start playing the game, I highly advise you to go through the settings menu. The right settings can make or break your gaming experience. So here are a few quick tips to optimize your game. The right settings for graphics. Open up your settings menu and turn on performance mode. Choosing performance mode over the fidelity mode will offer a more smoother gameplay experience, especially if your PC or console struggles with high graphics settings. Performance mode prioritizes the frame rate, which is crucial for this fast paced looter shooter. Also, turn off motion blur. This will make the visuals look clearer when you're turning around. This should only be turned on if you're prone for motion sickness when playing video games. The gameplay settings. Let's move on to the gameplay tab. Here I recommend turning on all the damage display options and showing the status effect text. For a looter shooter like the first descendant, it's important to see how much damage you're doing and how much health or shield an enemy has left and what the status effects are that are in play. This information is important during combat so you know more about the way your descendant is performing. Here is an example in game of what these settings look like. The audio section is not really important in this game. It's not as important as in games such as Call of Duty or Apex Legends. Therefore, I would just recommend using the default settings and change them to fit your preferences. Now, let's move on to the display tab. I play on console, so these settings might be different than the settings on PC. What I recommend here is to play without HDR turned on. In my opinion, this game looks a lot better without the setting. But this all depends on the monitor that you are using, of course. I have my brightness set to 7 and my contrast also set to 7. The most important setting in this tab is the field of view setting. I have put this to 105. For me, that is the sweet spot for most games I play. I had the feeling my game lagged a bit more on a higher FOV than 105. So that's why I put it at 105. A higher field of view will give you a wider view of the battlefield, helping you spot the enemies and navigate more effectively. Play around with the settings to find out what's most comfortable for you. I would recommend putting it at least at 90. The last setting tab is the controller tab. If you play on mouse and keyboard, I can really help you out here, as I play on the PS5. For the PS5, I would recommend putting your cursor speed to 25. This will make it easier for you to go through the menus. Next, you can put vibration on or off. For a looter shooter, I usually keep it on. I always put it off in competitive games, but for this game, it doesn't really matter. Next, I would recommend putting your sensitivity around 70 to 50 and keep the aim assist the same. If you want, you can change your button layout as well. I, for example, have put dodge on my R3 button and jump on my R1. This is so I don't let go of my joysticks while playing the game. But feel free to find out what suits you best. If you have back buttons, this is not a problem for you, of course. I hope you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. Make sure to share it with your friends so everyone can understand the basics of the game. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Also, let me know what you want to see next. I'm planning to upload an early game bunny build guide in a couple of days and much more content on the first descendant, so stay tuned. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Click the recommended videos at the end of the screen for more. For now, see you in the next video.